Hey, what is up? My name is Chris, and welcome to Coding in Public. Today we're working on another beginner JavaScript application kind of project, and it's this note taker. We've got a bunch of cool features here. You can add a title, like title something here, and a note, like lorem ipsum whatever, and come here and hit submit. And then it'll add it down here below, and you can continue to add them. So like title two, something two, and you can tab to it, hit submit, and as you add them, they'll just stack up here below. Now, we've got some cool stuff like here. It's truncating the text to only these four lines. You can then go ahead and view the entire thing in this modal and then close it when you want to. Same thing for these little tiny titles here. You can do the same thing. Um, and then if you refresh the page, they actually stay there because we're going to store them in local storage. You can delete notes, and then they're gone. You can refresh the page once again, and they're gone um, because it's removing it from local storage as well. Notice as you delete things, it'll say like your note is permanently deleted. If you try to submit, it'll tell you, hey, add a title and a note. So we've got a bunch of little things we're going to work on. And we're going to do this over the period of three different videos. Now, this one's fairly short, which is why I kind of took a little bit to show you what it's going to look like. Uh, today, we're just going to focus on HTML, which there's not going to be that much. Um, but we'll go ahead and set up the project. Next time, we'll look at the SAS. And then finally, we'll look at the JavaScript. Now, those next two videos will be a little bit longer. If you're like, hey, I don't really care about the HTML, well, just give this video a like, and uh, that'll help remind you next time, all right? And uh, if you uh, don't want to worry about anything except for JavaScript, then my third video should be in the description once it's up, and so you can go ahead and jump to it there. I'll try to remember to add a card as well. All right, let's go ahead and jump right in and just work on the HTML. I've got nothing going on here. We've got an index.html, a Node.js, and a style dot scss file that have nothing in them um, and they're all in this source folder so the first thing we're going to do is just add some kind of boilerplate uh, html here and we'll just call this like note taker application okay and then uh, we will add some stuff to the body here in a moment let's go ahead and hook up our tags here so we'll do link uh, css and this is just uh, kind of normal Emmet stuff. And I'll go ahead and add it as SCSS there, and I'll show you why I'm doing that in a moment. Same thing here, we're gonna add the script tag, and we will add uh, the, let's see, we need the Node.js. Now both of these actually, we need to make sure we're referencing them properly um, because we're referencing them in the same directory. We'll do a dot and then a forward slash. Same thing here, a dot and a forward slash. If you don't do that, it's assuming that whatever you put in here is in the root of your entire project, which is not quite this, the case because it's in this folder. But since it's in the same folder as our index.html, we'll just do dot and then forward slash note.js or whatever. Now, in order for this JavaScript file to load after the rest of the body is loaded, we'll do defer. You can also just add your script tags at the bottom of the body as well, but I think it's easier just to add everything up here and then add defer, and that way I've got one place to look for anything that's linked in the document. Okay, so we've got that basically set up. Now what we're going to do is we're going to use parcel, which I've done a video on. I'll try to remember to add a card and something in the description if you want to learn more. But it's basically an application bundler, and it'll do a lot of the hard work for us, including converting our SCSS down to CSS and uh, minifying our JavaScript and a bunch of other stuff. Now, normally we'd add that into our project, but here I'm just going to actually re reference it globally on my machine. So first of all, I need just need to initiate uh, npm. I'll do a dash y so it answers all those correctly. And then I'm going to come in here to this package.json file that was just created. And I'm just going to add in a script here for parcel that, again, is globally on my machine. So I'll do parcel, and then I'll do the source uh, folder. And inside that, I will reference index.html. Now, finally, I can come in here and say npm run dev, and it'll run that script, and it'll spit out here this uh, configuration where I can open uh, this live file that will kind of hot reload and all this kind of stuff for us. So that's all the setup we need to do. And now we can actually just worry about getting our index.html page up and running. So we've basically got three areas on our page that we need to worry about. First of all, we've got the form container itself. That's where we're actually inputting the note title and the body of the note. So we'll come in here and we'll just call that form container. And then inside here, we're going to want to add a few things. We had an H1 that said like note taker, I think is what we had there. And then an H3 that said add a new note. Below that, we actually had our form. And we're going to just remove the action because we're going to prevent that anyhow by default. 
So we'll come in here on our form and we want a few things. We need both that title area and then the note area. So for both of these, we're going to add a label. And this label, this first one will be for the title. And then we'll just add title right here. And then inside this label, we will go ahead and add our input. Now this first input will just be the type of text. We're going to give it an ID of title so it'll correspond to that label. And we'll add a placeholder that just says enter a note title. All right, and next we're going to grab another label here. This label will be for the note itself. And we'll change this to say note. And then for the input here, we want a text area instead of the input. So let's remove this and do text area. And then we will name it note, give it an ID of note. And those columns and rows are just fine by me. Once again, though, we will add a placeholder. That placeholder will say enter note text. So this is kind of our first area, this form container itself. And it's kind of the biggest area we have to worry about. The second area will be where we want to place those cards once we add new notes. We're just going to add that in an area called note container. Now, believe it or not, we're done. All right, that's all we're going to add there. Now, because we know what the note will look like eventually, when we work on the SAS, we'll probably add in some more HTML here just so you can kind of see it live. But uh, this is all we're going to have on our page by default. Now, finally, we have that little pop-up. Let me pull back over this way. If I add a note here, what we did is just add this section first and then note and hit submit. Then we added the div that these cards are going to live in. And finally, we want to add this little modal that when you pop up here, um, you've got this little modal that'll pop up with you. So we can come in here and we're, let's just add this. Let's see, let's add this at the very top. We're going to hide this by default and just toggle it on whenever we want to view a note. So we'll come in here and we're going to call it a modal container. And in here we will have a modal. And this modal will have a few things in it. First of all, we're going to have a button with a class of modal button. Inside here, we're going to put this little shorthand for like a, a multiplication symbol that looks like a little X. We'll put that there for um, inside the button class. And next, we're going to add an uh, H2 with a class of modal title. And by default, that won't have anything. We'll populate that when somebody wants to view the note with that note's title. Finally, we'll add a class, uh, a paragraph here with the class of modal body. And again, we will not populate that with anything. Now, we haven't saved this at all. So when I save it, everything should pop up over there on the right. There we go. We saved it. We've got this little pop-up modal with that X there, the note taker with the new note, all this kind of stuff. And then this empty div is somewhere on the page, but obviously there's nothing in it. So it's not, sh not showing anything right now. Now, I know we didn't do a whole lot this video, but hopefully that gets you excited for kind of what's coming up. I figured breaking this up into smaller steps might be helpful for you, especially if you're just learning. All right, thanks so much for watching. Remember the next video is on the CSS and then finally on the JavaScript. So stick around for what you want. But if you like this video or you want me to keep working on series like this, please hit that like button. That's one of the best ways to communicate with me or comment. And I will catch you in the next video. Happy coding.